Boy. The Surface Duo is available for pre-order and I'm really looking forward to playing with one, but I'm also an audio nerd and it always makes me a bit anxious looking at gadgets which lack a headphone jack. While we wait for the Duo to arrive, Microsoft was early shipping out the headphone dongle, so let's give it a listen. Yeah, not great. I'm already not a fan of tying up the USB-C port on our phones for something as basic as cabled audio. The Surface dongle does not inspire much confidence in a USB audio strategy. Hooking this up to several Android phones in the gadget lab, there's no high-res support, playback truncated to CD quality, and the numbers for distortion and noise floor are respectable. Mid-pack in terms of quality against the headphone jack you might find in a Stylo 6 or a Pixel 4a. But the real deal breaker here, this is an anemic amp. I think this might be the weakest amp I've ever tested on any mobile audio solution. In the past, I've drawn a dividing line between communication grade audio convenience and audiophile grade quality. This dongle isn't just a poor solution for audiophile, it might struggle with some thirstier earbuds. Plugging in some inexpensive multi-drivers like my KZ here, at maximum volume, the sound level was just a little uncomfortable for me. And you know, I don't listen loud. I was super critical of the Razer USB dongle back in the day, and after using the Surface dongle, I almost feel like I need to go back in time and apologize to the Razer. And this is why USB-C audio blows. The dream was getting reputable audio manufacturers to make good mobile gear. There was some potential for something good to come from gutting the headphone jacks on our phones. Most phones had mediocre audio hardware. So imagine buying a Sennheiser or Audio-Technica adapter, and then it wouldn't matter what phone we bought, we'd always have an option for premium audio. That's not what we got. Instead, most of the time, audio dongles are just a pain point. You know, let's make this fiddly. It's easy to break or lose. Adds additional wear and tear on your phone's charge port. Makes it more difficult to charge your phone. And then we're going to pack it with underperforming audio hardware. All pain points to encourage an additional accessory purchase. The 3.5 millimeter jack is just so old fashioned and it doesn't even sound that great going over a cable. Wouldn't you rather just get some surface buds? They'll be your buds. I guess I shouldn't be surprised anymore but continuously disappointed. And I am testing this adapter on other Android phones I have here in the lab, so maybe there's some kind of audio voodoo which might kick on when you plug this into a Surface Duo, but I kinda doubt it. At this point, I'm just gonna say, you should probably skip this. If audio quality improves on the Duo, I'll let you know. But instead, maybe put this $12 towards anything else, if you like your ears. Again, I'm hesitant to recommend this as even a basic option for taking phone calls. I'm still looking forward to test driving a Surface Duo, especially as a productivity powerhouse option, but this isn't great. And now I need to keep track of this thing while I wait for my Duo to get here. I really hate dongles. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to this channel. Bluetooth isn't better. It's really not. It's not more convenient. It's just a different collection of audio pros and cons. And sometimes, you just need to plug in a cable. It's a shame that most techies just rolled over and gave up on the universally best option for audio quality, consistency, and stability. And if you'd like more information on audio quality, hearing health, and hearing loss, I have a separate playlist for my hashtag 2020 hearing videos. It's like 2020 vision, but for your ears in the year 2020. It's kind of a pun, but the videos are good. If you would like to help support the production of more audio tech and hearing health conversations like these, there are some links down below this video. There's a support page on somegadgetguy.com or you might consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen. Uh, that's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future reviews and editorials, and they get exclusive access to my audio deep dive reviews. I might literally be the last tech nerd really stress testing the headphone jacks on gadgets, and YouTube has always slaughtered those kinds of videos, 
for being less popular. We recently took a listen to the LG Velvet, and next up will be the Pixel 4a. It's a fun community, so I hope you'll check it out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.